Alrighty, good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Patty Rick, out here for Chase on Two Wheels at the new Indian Chief Sport Launch. We are about to ride all of these bikes today. We had a great meeting last night, a great meal with some good friends, uh, discussing everything new about the bike and really being able to talk about everything that they've changed from the standard Chief to this Chief Sport. It is a beautiful motorcycle. There's a lot to talk about, and it's gonna be a really, really fun day. So uh, get excited, because I am. All right, this is the brand new 2023 Indian Chief Sport. They are calling this their new mid-size cruiser. It's got a really great price range built onto it, and there are a ton of really cool options and accessories for these bikes. You know, biggest things that are obvious is gonna be that headlight fairing with the three different windshield options. Well, there's six, really, because there's the three standard ones, and then you've got clear and smoked available. We've got these brand new Brembo brakes, which are fantastic. The stopping power on these we've all heard is incredible. We'll test that out today. We've got some new Fox externally reservoired adjustable shocks as an upgrade. The standard ones are preload adjustable. These are compression and rebound adjustable. And of course we've got that tried and true 120 foot pound of torque engine that we are all excited to get to play with today. So we are super pumped. We're getting ready for the day and I will talk to you shortly. About to ride all these amazing bikes today. Some of them are totally stock. Some of them have some Indian branded accessories on them that are obviously new to the marketplace. Gonna be super exciting to ride those today. Biggest difference between these bikes is you're gonna see obviously is gonna be the tall windshields versus the short windshields. And any bike that has the tall windshield also has those 10 inch tall riders. It's gonna be a really, really fun day. Really, really fun riding with a cool group of people. So stick around. We are about to have an absolute blast. We are chilling on the 2023 Indian Chief Sport. Y'all have got to see this startup screen. It is beautiful. I love that. This super sweet four inch display right here looks like an old school style gauge. When you look at it, it is in fact an all digital touchscreen. Super, super cool. We got our menu switch. Oh, I like that. Oh, these mid controls are going to take a little bit of getting used to. Here we go. I'm getting used to the seating position. It's weird. Very strange. You know, I'm used to cruisers. I think cruisers, I think forward controls. We're mid controls right now. It's just different for me. It's not something I'm necessarily used to. <laughs> All right, it's definitely, you can feel that 120 foot-pounds of torque. It is uh, lively to say the least. Brakes feel good. That power is real. Downshifts are really smooth. Bumpy, bumpy. But you know what, this suspension, that Fox rear shock, four inches of travel, soaks up these bumps no problem the kyb inverted front forks do a great job keeping that front end nice and stable very supple even though it, it feels sporty it's a supple feel over these uh these bumps on the front end even under braking i like the brake pedal placement that right foot brake pedal placement's quite nice cruising through these city streets here in austin it's really easy we're making a lot of 90 degree left 90 degree right turns and it is super easy it's really nimble I, honest to God, compared to the Scout, it feels smaller, it feels more nimble, it feels like it's really got some guts where it needs to have it. So ultra first impressions, we've gone maybe a mile if that. And man, it's crazy, it's so nimble. It's able to move, you know, it just whips back and forth so easily. It's kind of incredible.
right, she passes the balance test, boys and girls. Oh man. You know, that's kind of one of my, one of the big things I do love about cruisers in general is they can be very easy to balance or they can be very difficult. There's not a whole lot in between. I feel like my adventure bike background really does help me to balance heavier bikes in general, but this thing is just, the ergonomics are so good. The weight feels like it's perfectly balanced right smack in the middle. It's just really comfortable. And I don't mean that in a sense of like traditional, the seat is comfy, although it is. It's just like the riding position is set up in a way that you know, it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to mid controls. Again, I'm just not, not used to those like I talked about earlier. You know, where the shifter is, where the brake is, like how the how you have to move your body to get to the controls is clearly very well thought out. And it's just something that Indian takes a lot of pride in how they set things up with the, you know, the ergo triangles, what they call it. So that's your body position between the seat, the controls, and your handlebars. And this thing, given the different stats that they've changed they've extended the overall wheelbase by a half inch over a standard chief they've changed the rake on the front end they've changed the rear shock so it gives it a now it's got a total four inches of suspension travel make it not only comfortable but clearly it's got all of the it's got all of the suspension that it needs to soak up those big bumps like the one we just went over surprised me a little bit <laughs> oh, and then you can punch it and those big brembos will slow you right down when you've made it across the intersection or through through the intersection or you're catching up to your buddies or what have you you know that 120 foot pounds of torque out of this thunderstroke is just it's on tap and it's always there now that we're on the freeway doing a good 70 miles an hour you know this uh Little windshield does a fairly good job. It's putting the wind kind of right above my shoulders. You guys know I'm 6'2", 325. I'm a big fella. I am body legs proportionate though. So I don't have like a super long torso or very long legs or anything like that. This fairing is nice. It gives me enough wind kind of on my shoulders and on my chest to keep me cool. But it doesn't feel like the wind is hitting me in my helmet. It is windy. But I'm not gonna lie, it, this little windshield does a good job. This is the standard windshield. They do offer one that is a little bit shorter and has a flare to it. And they do offer one that is a little bit taller and also has a flare. Downshifts are so good. Something they did not mention to us last night, one of the other guys mentioned to me, so we'll definitely uh, fact check it before this goes out. But it does allegedly have a slipper clutch in it. It feels like it. The downshifts are really smooth. You know, on such a sporty bike, it's definitely something that is really, really cool. My friend here, Jeff, just let me know that we do, in fact, have a slipper clutch in these bikes. I really like the matte black. This uh, gloss gray is a super cool color. The matte red, and they also are offering a matte blue. We don't have that blue here today, but man, they're pretty. The seating position, again, I'm going to keep harping on the seating position. It's so good, you know, over all these little bumps. This is a redesigned seat. For the Chief Sport, it's comfortable, man. It's got a lot of rise on the rear of the seat, so it kind of holds your butt forward. They do offer a couple different versions of it. They offer a two-up seat. They do offer a um, like a comfort style seat as well as um, just a couple other different stylistic options. But man, like this standard, I'm on the standard bike. The standard seat is so good. 3,000 RPM, third gear, 50 miles an hour. You get all that fun rumble and vibration you love from a cruiser. You know, and with that 120 foot-pounds of torque, you've got power on tap no matter where you are in this rev range. You know, I'm gonna keep talking about the Thunderstroke engine. It is so good. It makes the best noises. It makes me giggle. <laughs> you know, it's got 29 and a half degrees of lean angle, which on a cruiser is unheard of. It is plenty. You don't need any more than that. If you want more than that, you can get it. There are adjustable pieces on the suspension that can give you all sorts of craziness. You know, there's a couple guys on this ride that have been riding sport cruisers for a while now, have more experience than me with them. 
and are just dragging Peg on every turn they can. And man, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's fun to watch them do it. I don't have the skill set for it. My forte is definitely off-road. And on the big adventure bikes, a little more upright seating position. But man, <laughs> this thing is so much fun. These short bars, you know, they're not very wide. They're moto style bars, so it's a, you know, very, very much dirt bikey feel. You know, something you'd find on a flat track or something you'd find on a, a dirt bike, an adventure bike, something like that. They're so comfortable. They're they're not too wide. They're not too skinny. They're skinny enough to allow you to really move the bike around and kind of weeble and wobble back and forth. And you can dip it into the corners again with that 29 degree lean angle and have really no issue with having to, you don't have to manhandle this bike around. It just flicks back and forth. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love this bike, dude. Oh my God. I gotta get one of these. I gotta get one of these. Sorry, Paige, my wife. You know, I've got an adventure bike. We've had plenty of sport bikes. Or sporty bikes, multi-stratas. This thing is a riot. The fact that it's not mine and I get to play with it, I'm sure helps. But man, this is some next level giggles. I've never been a cruiser guy. Never, never, never. I had a scout to ride with my dad while he had a road king. I had a Road King because I thought it was an upgrade from the Scout. As I rode that bike more, I learned I didn't really like that seating position. Um, but this thing, holy crap. It's everything I want a cruiser because I'm not gonna do these big crazy cross country trips on a cruiser. For me, that's my adventure touring bikes. If you want something that is going to blast you around town, that you can take to the mountains or take out on some twisty roads, you absolutely can. This is unlike any other cruiser I've ridden, and I think mainly that is due to that Ergo Triangle we were talking about and just the comfort that this bike provides. It is something that is just kind of beyond me as to how they've figured out how to do it. the first peg scrape of the day for old Patty Rick. <laughs> Holy <sh> <laughs> guys patty rick back again we are cruising by this dried up riverbed on this really coolie really coolie really coolie i said what i said a real cool back road all these real neat little concrete bridges which are whoa slippery as shit. Um, they get covered in this dust and dirt 
and they get very, very slick, and someone's gonna have an accident on them eventually. But it is uh, a fun little back road. I'm really enjoying my time out here. This is again, definitely to show the Chief Sports sporty side of their DNA. And it is absolutely showing it. I'm having an absolute blast out here. A couple of these bumps like that one have uh, hit me in a personal spot, if you know what I mean. So uh, I'm slowed down now, cruising at this point. I'm not pushing as hard as some of the other guys. I've let pass me over the past couple of minutes. Um, just wanted to take some time and slow down on this back road that I'm just really enjoying cruising around. You know, this Indian experience has been, um, for me, definitely one of the top experiences on a motorcycle I've had in a very long time, if ever. Um, it's so cool to be out here with a bunch of industry folks and a bunch of fellow media, media people and just having a blast with my friends you know, enjoying some beautiful motorcycles in a beautiful place. You know, it really doesn't get a whole lot better than this as it pertains to what you can do with a motorcycle. I mean, we've cruised on the highway. We have um, run city streets. We've done urban exploration and could not be more thankful for this opportunity. Um, so thank you to Indian for bringing me out, bringing us out so I'm able to show you guys everything there is to know about this new Indian Chief Sport. Uh, it has absolutely been my pleasure to bring you guys on this journey with me and to bring you out for this ugh, super cool experience. You know, I'm, I'm getting a little, uh, I don't want to say emotional, I'm getting a little, yeah, I'm getting a little emotional because this is just, for me it's a really cool experience as I've not, this is my first press event with Chase with you guys here on the channel. You know, I'm confident this is definitely not gonna be my last. Um, I'm just super happy with the friends I've made along the way um, and cannot wait to show you guys yet even more amazing footage of this amazing bike. Ooh, I've gotta find an In-N-Out. Comments, In-N-Out or Whataburger? Two totally different burgers, but as it pertains to people on the East Coast, uh, Whataburger is slowly making their way over. What do you prefer? My wife prefers Whataburger, I prefer In-N-Out. They are two different styles of burger, to be clear, but um, your fat friend likes In-N-Out. All right, guys, welcome to the end of our press ride. It is coming up on 3.30. We are on our way to one last spot to get some photo and do some talk to camera stuff and try to get a bunch of pretty pictures for all you YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you know, social media folks. We wanna make sure you guys can get the best look possible at these beautiful machines. Um, big shout out to Indian Motorcycles for having us out, having me out. You know, it's been an, an absolute honor and a privilege to be here. Um, shout out to Revival Motorcycle Shop in Austin, Texas. We did our dinner and our press event for all the stats and the photos and all that fun stuff last night. It has got to be the coolest custom fab shop I've seen full stop. All right, guys, it is your boy, Patty Rick, here at the end of our day. Found a beautiful park to come and hang out in and relax a little bit. Drink some water, eat some snacks before we head back to the hotel. And I want to talk to you guys about this Chief. This weekend, this week has been incredible. This trip has been so much fun for me. Um, and I'm so excited and proud to have brought you guys along to check out this Chief Sport. One for the record books, to say the least. Meeting a bunch of uh, new friends, again, seeing some old friends. It's been a really, a really big blast for us. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of stats about the bike that kind of make it what it is, make it as good as it is. It's been, honest to God, incredible to ride. So again, this piggyback rear shock by Fox, this guy right here, this little fella on both sides, it is at a really steep angle. You can tell it's kind of in line with the frame and the tank all the way down this really beautiful line that shows off the bike, really shows the big triangle that they talk about with this thing. It is preload adjustable. They offer an option that is rebound and compression adjustable. I know I mentioned it earlier, but they are incredible. Both sides of the bike truly makes this thing 
handle like a sport bike, like a Hyper Naked or something like that. Think MT-09, but a little heavier, a little bit different front end. Obviously, it's going to feel very different than that, but that's just kind of the, the flickability that this thing has. You can just toss it around and have a great time doing it. We've ridden six, almost seven hours a day, and I'm not even kind of tired. I'm not muscle fatigued. I am not sleepy in any way shape or form it's just a really really cool bike it's been a whole lot of fun especially with this thunderstroke engine 120 foot pounds of torque is nothing to scoff at it has been an absolute riot this gunfighter style seat is what they call it it comes standard on the chief sport it's a solo gunfighter seat it's got four inch bolster on the rear and that's just this guy right here we got a four inch rise between the actual seat pan and that back area i mentioned it earlier in the video it feels a lot like a backrest it's very very comfortable it is something that when you romp on the throttle you're going to move back in that seat but that cushion is so nice it's not it's not painful it's not sharp it's not you know a solid piece of anything it is nice and plush and i did try kind of popping my butt up on that little back area it's not bad at all it's not a passenger seat but if you just need to stretch your legs out a little bit you can absolutely do that speaking of your legs we're going to talk about kind of the lower angle of your body with that mid control setup it is so comfortable you feel almost like you're sitting down your legs are kind of bent at a 90 degree but it doesn't feel awkward it doesn't feel like anything is too far back or too far forward they've done a really good job of putting those mid controls in a place that is both comfortable and sporty because between the mid controls and you being really far forward it does have you hunched over the bike a little bit but it gives you that really sporty feel it makes you feel like you are able to just toss it into a corner and rail this thing and i've been scraping peg all day and you can kind of see we've got some decent chicken strips on there on that rear tire which all that does is tell me is that even when you're scraping peg having a blast you do still have tire left over you're not like at the edge of the grip of the tire or anything like that moving to the aesthetics of the bike it comes in three colors it comes in this beautiful black the beautiful red you saw earlier and it comes in this really nice gloss gray that I'm really, really big fan of. The red is fantastic because it's a satin almost. It's got a metallic kind of in it. So I wouldn't call it matte. It's more of a satin. And they also offer a blue that's a limited edition that's coming out later this year. Alrighty, that LED light right there on the front is fantastic. It is super bright. It points everywhere you need it to point. Those three beams on the bottom, three beams up top, and that sweet running light with that Indian logo on it are just gorgeous. They work extremely well. Biggest benefit is other vehicles can see you. This thing is hyper bright. It's fantastic. I love it. We've got our those inverted front forks I was talking about. Those four pot Brembo brakes on front. You've got two of those and one at the rear, obviously. This is a belt drive machine like most cruisers are 116 cubic inches 120 foot pounds of torque this engine is fantastic all right guys i want to talk you through this fantastic little dial right here it is arguably the coolest thing on this bike the looks are fantastic the motor is fantastic and that's what makes it fun to ride but this thing might be the coolest thing on here and the reason i say that it is a four inch touch screen that when it's off and you don't know any better it looks like an analog gauge it's got a very retro look it's got a ton of different options you've got a built-in gps system it takes a second to load initially but once it is loaded it loads your entire route for you and you are good to go and this little guy we've got it set for the hotel right now but it i don't know who built it if it's garmin if it's an internal indian thing if it is a google system but it is fantastic it is super super cool and it is a rad little touch screen so on this awesome little gps i'll show you guys how to get to a destination hit the search icon hit search again and we are going to look it up so it is revival revival cycles store and it is yeah right on the other side of well we're on the same side of the river but just a little south of here so we're going to navigate over there and i'll talk to you then all right patty rick signing off here at the indian chief sport launch these bikes have been an absolute riot all week and i cannot wait till we get one on a long-term loan at the shop it's going to be one of those things that bo and i are definitely going to fight over bo and i are going to fight over who gets to ride this thing because god knows he's going to love it and i know i love it um so patty rick signing off we'll see you next time thanks bye